Universities could use an upgrade. For one, they're too expensive. Most are old fashioned. That's right. And according to this guy, they don't even educate that well. Just think about it. If any of us were to be presented with a final exam that we got an A on in college today, we would all flunk it. This is Ben. And besides him looking like Batman here, he's not a huge fan of traditional universities. Educational institutions certify short-term memory, but they don't actually certify education. So he created a new type of university that's harder to get into than Harvard and attracts some of the brightest students in the world. Hello. My name is Haitham. Giselle, Amanda. I'm Pablo. And rather than spend millions on football stadiums and designer libraries, they use that money to send students around the world. Four years, seven cities, we don't have tests. Which is crazy. It's practical education grounded in the real world, and that's what Minerva does. A university that helps cultivate social entrepreneurs, not cogs in the machine. So, if Ben's model works, could this transform the university system? This is Catalyst a show about the changemakers tackling our biggest problems. Okay, back to Ben about the current state of higher education. Higher education is long overdue for fundamental reform. You sit in a lecture hall and you take an exam. That exam measures only one thing, which is short-term recall of information. It's not just Ben that thinks this. Students feel it too. I think education should really be an active process. This is Amanda, and she has big goals. When I turn 25, I want to consider myself a cosmopolite, so someone who feels at home at any place in the world. Before attending Minerva, Amanda had never left her region in Brazil. And this is Aspen. She grew up in a small town in Indiana, population 200. So I was literally sitting at the standardized testing location, waiting for them to open the doors to let me go take the SAT. And my dad has his phone out. So he goes, hey, what do you think of a college that doesn't take standardized testing? And I, I was like, sign me up. Okay, fast forward, and Aspen's been in Berlin with a cohort of other students from around the world. Everything is different about teaching at Minerva. We teach them remotely with this very intentionally designed active learning forum. This is Professor Katie McAllister. She got her PhD from Cambridge and is on the ground floor with Minerva. Welcome back to Complex Systems. I hope you all had a great weekend in San Francisco. Instead of just learning about other cultures and textbooks, students get to experience them directly. City by city, your experience changes, and I think that's like an awesome thing also about it. This is Pablo. He's working on a new form of augmented reality. Minerva allows students the freedom to take the curriculum and apply it to their unique areas of interest. But more importantly, you actually have to teach them in ways that students can then apply them in the real world. Rather than sitting in lecture halls, students learn from the city around them through intentional exploration. Today, I'm taking a walk to Tempelhofen Felt. It's one of the biggest urban green spaces in like the whole world. After doing this audio walk around our neighborhood, we did this experiment to try to tackle problems in the city. So the idea is that through these experiences, students become better at problem solving, a lifelong skill far more valuable than memorization that will help set them up for a rapidly changing future. How does society feel about the transformation that is happening? So I think they are solving impactful real world problems on the ground. They really get out there in these cities and sort of knock on doors. In Hyderabad, I was part of a civic project that focused on program development for a local women's empowerment organization. We're not siloing students within academic disciplines, but integrating them into society. So Minerva is a really interesting idea. And several other universities, including Zayed University and the University of Miami, are starting to take notice and adopt the foundations behind the learning model. OK, so that was the week. The reason that we launched Minerva University was in order to demonstrate to the world that you could take the most socioeconomically diverse student body of any selective university on the planet and generate educational outcomes that exceed any other university such that other universities would be inspired to reform themselves. Minerva is providing a really unique experience and providing students with real-world pathways to pursue what interests them. 
If more universities adopt this, this could be the future of education. I want to understand the science behind Alzheimer's and how we can prevent that before it even starts. I want to responsibly integrate artificial intelligence into our daily lives. I want to help create the next art medium. I want to push for social justice through accurate, high-quality journalism. I want to use media as a catalyst for social change. Yes! Definitely. Bye-bye. <laughs>